All right, all right, all right. Hey guys, Damon, Foxy Home Buyer, and I'm shooting this quick little video for you. If you're in a situation where you just had your property under contract and now your buyer has disappeared, this video is for you. Hey guys, Damon Hart, Foxy Home Buyer, foxyhomebuyer.com. Hey guys, Damon Hart, the Foxy Home Buyer, foxyhomebuyer.com. Hey guys, this is Damon Hart, the Foxy Home Buyer. And hey guys, Damon Hart, Foxy Home Buyer, the Foxy Home Buyer, with my boy, Kisan Hart. Okay, so you are selling your home, you found the perfect buyer, and you're ready to get things going, right? But a couple days or the day of closing in some situations, you know, people, they'll call and say, hey, guess what? We can't close anymore. We've, I heard this, this, uh, this uh, recently from some, a home buyer that just came to us and said, look, we have been on the contract for three weeks with this person, and now they just decided that, you know, they're, they're not gonna buy the house. Now, I understand that things happen in the markets a little, um, you know, different, right? It's all over the place. But with that being said, you know, the one thing that we can all uh, agree on is like when you start, when you commit to making a decision with somebody, you start making plans and you need to start, you know, planning things and getting things in line. And it does not feel really great when it's time to close and you can't go. So I'm going to tell you what you got to do. Okay. Up front, here's a couple of things you should take as uh, uh, things to prevent that from happening and also what to do in that situation. So first, prevention, right? Prevention is uh, as easy as talking to those the, your buyer and then finding out from your buyer, first and foremost, okay, how many per, how, how homes have you purchased, okay? Anybody that has purchased a home and is reputable, they should be able to show you some recent sales that have happened, okay? If you can't find that, I'd start. That's kind of a red flag because if you're not, if you're seeing your home buyer and you're not buying homes, maybe you're just kind of getting started, or um, maybe you're looking to resell uh, the the contract, which you know people do as well. Um, but you don't need that kind of stress. So you want to know if that person has actually uh, purchased anything recently, if they're going to be buying your home. Okay, yeah, I would say within the last three months, six months would be. Uh, kind of far six months out, but within the last three months for sure, should be able to show you uh, some settlement statements. Now, with that, uh, the other thing to, to consider is like going out to Google, and I know Google's not the end all, right? But uh, if you're doing transactions, like for us, for example, you know, we've been in business for, for over nine years, almost 10 now, okay? And we only have about 40 Google reviews for, for, because for a very long time, we didn't even have Google. We were just, you know, doing, doing the do and never asked for reviews. So we only have about 40 or so reviews on our, you know, at the time of this video. Well, guess what? If people don't have reviews of anyone else telling you about their business and they're, they're dated or they're not around, that's a pretty good sign that they're just kind of new in the business or you don't know where to get in touch with them if they don't show up right? Because any business that matters and cares about their reputation, they're not going to disappear on you because they know that if you don't uh, perform, guess where you're going to go? That's where I would go. I would go right to Google and bash them because bad news travels way faster than good news. And you want to make sure you treat your customers right So in that case. So people would be mindful not to, to mess around with you. Okay. The other thing I would also be uh, be mindful of is just to see, you know, if they have a, a solid title company that you can talk to. And when you call the title company, what you want to do is you want to just say to them, hey, look, you know, I'm thinking about doing this transaction with these guys. Have you closed with them before? Right. Are they legit? And when they, they tell you if they're legit or not, and, you know, you should be able to get a very good feeling from that title company that they're saying that, because most of the time the buyer's gonna pick the title company. I know we do, right? Because we're paying all closing costs in, in most situations. You know, that title company should be able to tell you if they're doing business and it shouldn't hurt to look and see if that title company is registered. It's very easy, go to SunBiz here in Florida, register with the state and just make sure that, you know, they have decent reviews. If they have crappy reviews, then guess what? You got no reviews here or crappy reviews here mixed with no reviews and crappy reviews here. Guess what's going to happen? It's a good likelihood you might not get what you want. Okay, so that's prevention. That's me making sure that you don't get to that spot. But what if you didn't watch this video beforehand 
and you're like, okay, Damon, now here I am and there's a person that said they were gonna buy and they did not buy. What do you do? I'm gonna keep it very simple, okay? First, you're gonna wanna see if you can, uh, if you're outside of your, uh, if they breached any of the terms, you wanna just see if you can collect your earnest money deposit, okay? If they put down earnest money deposit, you wanna be able to collect that because they're out of contract. So that's the first thing you would do and you would do that with the title company, all right? Um, the next thing you would uh, want to do, really easy, is just go out there and just you know and and just talk to them and just find out well what's the reason, okay? A lot of a lot of times these guys, you know, with companies if they back out, we had a very large we were selling some properties that we owned and a very large buyer in the, in the case um, we're just backing out and like I'm talking big like uh, we sold we were selling our like these guys have millions maybe even close to multi-millions and we were selling our home to them and they just backed out within like six days of the closing and you would think well how would they do that damon you're a home buyer. you're like almost the best home buyer in in florida how would they back out of you is because sometimes people just don't they just don't keep their word it's just the way it is uh but if it weren't for whatever reason if they want to pull out we would just ask that they do that during a specific time well they did not and now what we had to do is we had to go and talk to them and say, hey, you guys are supposed to close in a couple of days. Guess what? You got to figure it out or you got to take care of us because we're not just going to go away because you, you promised that you were going to close. So that's the other thing. Talk to them and figure out how, how you could come to some kind of resolution because maybe you had some costs like we did. We had some costs that we could not get rid of, you know, moving stuff around and moving costs and people costs. We couldn't just eat that and walk away, especially when they were supposed to do it within their time period, okay? And then the last uh, solution uh, to, to get things done is very, very simple, okay? If you're in the great state of Florida and you have somebody that said they were gonna buy your home and they didn't, guess what? You gotta call us, okay? You can call into my office. Uh, we will get you on the phone with one of our uh, uh, customer service reps and uh, probably Chris or Mitch, will, they'll talk with you, have a great time, maybe even Justine, they'll have a great time, they'll get all the details, and we'll figure out how to get that thing done as soon as possible. And we'll let you know, you know, first, you know, if we can even buy the home, because we're gonna guarantee we can buy any home, it just depends on, on the timing. And if we can't, like we told you, we're gonna make sure that you get a, a, a better way to sell absolutely free. So with that being said, you know, if you're in that situation where you don't have it and you need to get a uh, get the prop property uh, closed, give us a call. We would love to buy it. We will. OK, so if that's a, a great benefit for you, I hope this information uh, was super helpful. Do me a huge favor because there are other people that search for information just like this. OK, what I want you to do right now is go ahead and click subscribe, because if you're in the market to buy uh, to sell your home, Maybe not right now, but at some point, it'd be good to get updates like this, don't you think? Right? I can't hear you, but I know you're thinking about it, right? You're like, yeah, of course, David, this would be great. So go ahead, drop a like, um, and also subscribe, and just you'll get these updates from time to time when they pop up. We, we put out content pretty regularly, and also, please drop a comment below and let me know if this stuff was helpful, this information was helpful, and if there's any other topics that you wanna know about, we'd love to get that information out to you, all right? so. With that being said, this is me, Damon Hart, dropping this quick little video and saying, for now, you know what to do. Keep it foxy. See you guys.